Hi, how you all doing? On this journey of self-discovery, this journey of life, and by the way, my name's Leisha. How you all doing? Thanks for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe, and um, check out some of the other stories on my channel. They'll interest you, I'm sure. I'm actually sitting here thinking about poverty and wealth. And it's actually kind of a bit of a deep one. When you grow up in a household where you're raised on a budget, for example, and there's a limited income, potentially just from one parent, or even if there are two parents, maybe that second parent doesn't contribute to the household in the way in which they should or which they could. So as you get older, you learn to become very much self-sufficient, especially when it comes to finances. Now I started working age nine, Saturdays and Sundays at Camden Market, and I absolutely loved it. I actually didn't realize the value of a pound. I didn't realize the value of what it is that I was doing, what I was learning, what I was experiencing. It was purely so I could buy my bus pass, so I could get to school. It was purely so I could buy my provisions in regards to my monthly cycle and my lady bits, if that makes sense. So my kind of childhood and upbringing was a little bit different, perhaps from everybody else's. Now, I never resented my parents. I actually looked at the opportunity to get out there, meet people, you know, work with money and change and... <clears throat> I was on a jewellery counter, so I was learning a lot of stuff. And the woman that I worked with, who I met through an aunt, and she also had a store, and my aunt sews. So I had these two really entrepreneurial, powerful women that had this vision, and they had a mission to succeed in what it is they were doing. So as I've got older, I think I've really forgotten my learnings, my teachings, my guidance. And I've had to really, really draw back my thoughts, my thinking, my actions, and go back to basics. Start again. How did you get here? And of late, my characteristics, my personality, who I'm trying to be as an individual is getting a lot of flack, a lot of criticism, a lot of judgment. Now, I've been told that I'm going to experience this along the way of trying to be a better person, of trying to do better for the people around me, trying to do better for my family. Because a lot of people are working from their own insecurities, their own fears, and their maybe their ego is getting in the way of looking at what it is that I'm trying to do for myself. The fact that I'm conquering my fears, I'm facing my fears, I understand my triggers, I know the sorts of things that set me off a certain way. And I'm doing things around me to build a better future for myself, to ensure that, you know, potentially my retirement per se, you know, is comfortable, where I don't have to be one of those people who are out there working, you know, to make ends meet, where I'm living on, you know, a pension or a monthly income that is nowhere near what it is that I'll need to survive. So on that journey of self-discovery, on that journey of finding self and finding your purpose and fulfilling your purpose, it's going to be lonely, it's going to be hard, it's going to feel like you want to give up, you want to quit, but who are you really quitting on? You're quitting on yourself, Leisha. So please, all it is that I ask is that we all try to be better people. We try not to judge others from our own perspective and experiences. We try to see that someone is doing something slightly different, that's uncomfortable, and maybe that they need support because there's nobody around to champion where it is you're going, that it sees that you're brave to actually take those steps forward to do something different. And unselfishly at that, Reminding others along the way that they too can conquer their fears. They too can find solutions to the things that they're going through. It means that we have to communicate differently. We have to be willing to share parts of ourselves that we perhaps wouldn't normally share with strangers or with others. But in order to see that you're not alone, 
You're not the only one that has the ups and downs. You're not the only one that's got debt. You're not the only one who's got ill health. You're not the, it's not a compare, it's not a comparison. I'm not here to compare. I'm here to share. I'm not here to compete. I'm here to make sure that we heal and complete. I've got a vision and this year I've got the tools to set those missions and make sure <laughs> that my life, I leave commissions for my family. One love people.